Welcome back to the demo of Love is Strange. Last time we went to the junkyard because Chloe told us to. And this time, no. We're gonna decide ourselves and let's see where that takes us then. Yeah, I have some place in mind. Ah, I see. The hike to the lighthouse is as pleasant as I remembered. Chloe keeps chatting my ear off as excited as a puppy. Oh man, this was such a great idea. Remember all the adventures we had up here as pirates? We even hid treasure somewhere. I remember, we buried it in the woods. What was even in that box? Some pictures, I think? Maybe candy? That must be mummified by now. I laugh, because I have the sudden picture in my head of a piece of candy wrapped in mummy bandages. When I tell Chloe, she laughs as well and bumps our shoulders together. Aww. I feel my smile growing wider. Dude, this is perfect. We have all these great memories here. You're so going to nail that photo contest. Oh, I like how even though we're not going to the junkyard, Chloe's not like mad or anything. It's nice. I laugh, but it sounds nervous, forced. I clear my throat. I hope so, Chloe. I hope I can do a good job. Chloe spins around to face me, walking backwards up the hill. Don't give me that, Max. Of course you'll do a great job. You'll do a wonderful job. I just hum. I'm convinced. You know, it kind of makes sense that Chloe is a little bit nicer here because the whole Rachel Amber thing didn't happen. It's really nice. Chloe grabs me by the shoulders. I'm serious. I believe that, Max. I believe in you. I can't help but smile. You really mean that? Don't you ever doubt that, hippie. She winks at me, starts walking by my side again. Finally, the trees grow sparse as we come in sight of the lighthouse. It looks so much smaller than I remembered. Bleaker, too. Like all the years of salt and wind chipped away all of its life and color. The sea is still and gray below us. Arcadia Bay lies peaceful on the shore. The sky is perfectly blue, almost blindingly so. I feel a prickling sensation on the back of my neck. Suddenly, being here feels off, though I can't put my finger on why. Almost as if she senses my discomfort, Chloe nudges my shoulder. Yo, what's up with you all of a sudden? Hmm, let's not lie to her. For some reason, I feel sad. It's like, I don't know. I don't know what I feel. Chloe gets really quiet beside me, gaze lost somewhere on the sea. After what feels like an eternity, she nods. I feel it too. Can't explain it, either. Maybe it's just weird coming up here with you after all these years. Everything seems bigger and quieter. I can't bring myself to say anything, so I just nod. Chloe startles me by putting her arm around my shoulders and pulling me close to her side. Don't be like that. It's still kind of nice, right? The sea is glittering under the sun. I let my head rest on her shoulder. Yeah, it's beautiful. We stay quiet like that for a few minutes. I love how there's no need for words between us. It's always been like that, since we were kids. When we were very little, we used to alternate moments of ruckus to entire hours of playing together in complete silence. We were so quiet our parents would pop by our rooms to see if we'd fallen asleep. But I don't remember being next to Chloe ever feeling so nice. The warmth radiating from her is so soothing. I could probably stay like this forever. Suddenly, she tenses up beside me. I look at her and her brows furrowed. She's chewing her lip like she always does when she's searching for the right words to say. I feel my stomach tighten uncomfortably in anticipation. Then. Finally, after what feels like hours, she speaks. 
Max, there's something I need to tell you. This is not going to be good. I feel my heartbeat speed up in my chest, a fast thumping in my throat. I swallow. What is it? Max, I'm leaving. I'm leaving Arcadia Bay. The first thing I feel is relief. I was scared she was sick, or Joyce was sick, or Chloe had gotten into some sort of bad, bad trouble. Then her words truly dawn on me. You're... you're leaving? She's not looking at me. Yeah, I... I've been thinking about it for a long time. I mean, you know that. I just decided that, fuck it, I should do it. I should really do it. So I started planning stuff, and I'm leaving at the end of the week. I feel like I've been punched in the gut. Uh, since I freaked out at the junkyard, maybe this time I'll try accepting what she has to say. Maybe she'll be upset that I'm not overreacting though, because then it kind of seems like we don't care. But let's give it a go. I shut my eyes and turn my head from her. I... I see. I feel Chloe shift beside me. Max, I... I squeeze my eyes tighter to drive away the prickling of tears behind my eyelids. I won't be a child about this. I won't. I... I get it, Chloe. I really do. This place... This place has never been good to you. You're right to want to leave it behind you. That's not... That's not it. It has been good to me. It's where I met you. A traitorous tear slides all the way down to my chin. I spin around and hide my face against Chloe's shoulder so she doesn't see it. I feel her wrap her rounds around my waist and I can't help but sigh. After a long moment, Chloe pulls away but keeps her arms loose around my shoulder. Listen, Max. I'm not... I'm not leaving because I hate Arcadia Bay. I know I say that, I say it a lot, but I don't... not really. Not with all these memories I made with you and Rachel and my dad. Oh, is William alive in this or not? Uh, I guess not, because Chloe's hair is still blue. And that stuff happened before the time travel anyway. I just... She sighs in frustration. I squeeze her elbow softly to reassure her. I know some people that have never left this city. They were born here, they lived here, they died here, and never once set foot out of town. And I'm so... I'm so fucking afraid I'm gonna turn out like that. I won't let it happen. You know, I mean, price field aside, that is a good reason to leave town. I would assume that a good portion of people her age, like 18, 19, are afraid of that not ever leaving the place you were born in. I nod. Don't look so sad. It's not like I'm never coming back. Gee, where have we heard that before? I'll just stay away for a couple of weeks. Or, I don't know, months. Depending on how well I can handle myself out there, really. I nod again, faster, trying to process her words. She really is serious about this and there's nothing I can do to stop her. Take me with you! <laughs> and maybe I don't. If this is so important to her, she should go through with it. Still, a painful knot tightens up in my throat. She nudges my shoulder. Come on, Max, I'll totally call you every day. And like, text you every time something cool happens, which, let's face it, will be all the time. I smile at her, but I can't find any words to say. Of course, that doesn't mean I can't be sad about it. <laughs> can't quite bring myself to look her in the eye either. She shoves her hands in her pockets and shuffles her feet. Max, please say something. I bite my lip. Chloe, I, I do understand why you're doing this. And you're right. You are right to want to see the world, to live for yourself. I just... I just have to wrap my mind around it. Around the fact that you're really, actually leaving. She squeezes my shoulder. 
I get it, Max. But you deserve this, Chloe. You deserve a chance to get out of this town and live your life. And... I hear my voice break. Shit. I look up at Chloe, and her eyes are big and warm. I'm going to miss you. She laughs briefly. Shit, Max, I'm not gone yet. It's not like I'll be away forever. Chloe pauses and rubs at her nose, like she always does when she's getting emotional. I'll miss you too. I rub my eye and smile at her. Chloe gives another little laugh, fidgets with the hem of her beanie. Jesus, look at us getting all mushy. Come on, we have like three more days to ourselves. Let's make them awesome. I grab her hand, squeeze it tight. Yeah, let's make them the best. Okay, so same thing with how Chloe wants to leave the town, which is understandable, really. Some people just can't sit still, like, they can't be in the same place for that long. They feel like they're wasting their life away. Uh, yeah, there are a few dialogue choices that I didn't pick still, but I don't want to pick them because I want to save something for the real thing, not just the demo. I don't want to exhaust it all before the real thing even comes out. I'm not sure how long, in terms of in-game days, the roots are going to be. I think I've read that the roots are going to be like 30 minutes-ish. Chloe mentioned that she's leaving by the end of the week, so I wonder if we'll get to spend all those days with her before she leaves, just like in the real game where we had one day for each episode. That'd be kind of cool. Right now though, I don't know, I can't imagine how something like this can end happily though. Right now though, I don't know how it's going to end. Like, we're gonna spend lots of time, have lots of fun during the week, but by the end of the week, Chloe is still gonna go. So... Well, three, three options really, right? She's gonna leave, as planned. Or number two, she's gonna take us with her. Okay, rather than wording it like that, maybe I'll say we are going with her. And number three, she decides to not go. Well, those are the three main paths that I can think of. I mean, the ones where we are not together aren't particularly happy in a dating sim sense. But we'll see where it goes. Alright, so that was Love is Strange, the demo, the lighthouse scene, and hopefully this will be completed on time in early 2016, and I'll see you all again then. 